Where's the market headed in 2015? That's the real estate market, of course. I'm here to give you some of the answers, maybe all the answers, probably not. But let's discuss some of the theories, some of the prevailing thoughts out there. What is 2015 going to give us from a real estate market standpoint? Well, the number one thing that affected us in 2014, kind of kept the market down a little bit, is that we had a historically low percentage of first-time home buyers. Traditionally, first-time home buyers make up 40% of the market, roughly. 2014, uh, you know, we got a couple weeks to go, but we're looking at about 31 to 33% was their participation. That's too low. That drags the market down. All right, well, one of the number one factors, and there's a lot of theories going on, and I'm trying not to get all technical, but the thing about it was money was hard to get as a first-time home buyer. You may have heard the, heard the term FHA mortgage. That's a mortgage that's very popular with first-time home buyers, and it became more expensive over this year. So what to look out for in 2015 is a little cheaper money for first-time home buyers. In fact, we've already started to see that with some of our preferred lenders. So if we can get the down payment lower and get the cost of the mortgage down, I think we'll see more first-time home buyers enter the market in 2015. That will help. That will help spur demand, which will help bring prices up. The second piece of the puzzle is rates. All right, they were very stagnant. They've been stagnant for a long, long time. If we can get them to maybe start to creep up a little bit, you'll get buyers who have to make a decision. We've all been in that situation where they give you the deal, right? You're looking at the home buyer shopping club, and it's like, hey, buy now in the next 10 minutes where the price goes up. That's what the buyers have to see to be motivated. That's your 2015 wrap.